churches You're are coming watching together 41 this weekend today. to unite the Middle Georgia community. Pastor Paul Walpower from the True Gospel Christian Church is here to tell us about Revivolution, a city on our knees. Good morning. Good morning, Amanda. Nice to be here. Thank, Thank you, you for the invite. Thank you for being here. So, Revivolution, that's yes. a pretty interesting word. Yes. First of all, what does that even mean? Well, Revivolution itself comes from two words, uh, revival as well as revolution. Revival means a return uh, or a renewed interest in something important. Mm -hmm. And revolution means a radical or immediate change. So when you put the two of those together, as the church returns back to coming together as one and returning to prayer, then we will cause an infect, infect change in this nation. And that's what you guys are hoping to do or are planning to do this weekend. That is our hope. That is our desire. This is something that God has been pressing in our hearts for several weeks. We've been pressing this message into the hearts of our congregation. Uh, and we've been reaching out to local churches in the area to make sure that they are aware of what we're doing. And, and this is not something that True Gospel Christian Church is doing. It's, we don't want our face on this. We want the Lord Jesus' face on this. And our goal is to bring churches together so that we can begin to operate as one cohesive body. I think I was reading that. It's, you were working as, as a whole, as the church, not a church community, exactly. correct? Exactly. Yeah, and I'm glad you said that because an A church mentality is one that where you're interested in growing your church, your members, and you're only considered concerned about what's inside of your four walls. But when you talk about the church, that's the church of the Lord Jesus that where you, are, you notice that you are a part, an integral part of a larger church body as well. So when is the Revivolution happening? Uh, the Revivolution will be August 17th, this Sunday at 6 p.m. at Coleman Hill Park. And are you expecting a large crowd? Have you heard a lot of interest? Our desire is for the large crowd. Uh, we've been working the streets, as I said, working with local congregations. Uh, we're, we are, we're prepared for the large crowd, and we'll just see what happens. So we believe that whoever is there should be there. And tell us, I mean, you mentioned this isn't about your church specifically. It's, it's, it's a group effort. But why is it, what's driving you guys to do this? The passion of this year came out of, of uh, ministering to our church for several weeks. And we took care of our house first, make sure that we had our issues in order. And then God just pressed us a little further that this is what I want in the entire body of Christ in general. And you just look at what's happening in Macon now with the consolidated government. Forty years this started in 1974. And 40 is a number that represents a period of wilderness. Mm -hmm. I believe that Macon's coming out of that wilderness now and True Gospel Christian Church along with other churches that are walking with us we're facilitating that change as well. Well thank you so much sir for joining us on the show we appreciate you coming thank on. Thank you for the time. And the Revivolution again is this Sunday August 17th at Coleman Hill Park and if you want to learn more about it you can just check out TrueGospelCC.com.